Uh, I guess at least that works. Good. The D just get yeeted. All right. Weird. Uh, all right. Alright. I think we're good. Alright. So, hello. I will be modeling. Actually, you know what? I don't need music. Uh, I will be modeling this image. Just got this from an AI generated thing, and I thought it was quite fascinating looking. So, I'm gonna turn it into a helmet that I will be putting in my portfolio and stuff. I haven't really modeled anything in hard surface before, so we're going to see if we can imitate this and get it to a pretty polished state. So I don't know if I'm going to make it game ready. I'm just going to make it like just concept ready. So that means it's just like the look of the thing is like ready for uh you know, for concept artists. That's kind of what I want out of this. And we'll see how that goes. All right. Uh, first of all, we'll do an auto mirror. Kind of wish we have the just divert setting. I think there is, right? There has to be one there. Um, so what I'm trying to do is I'm going to try to trace out the forms that I know are going to be focal points. For example, this bad boy's visor is uh, definitely going to be one. Okay, and uh, let's do that instead. Kind of want to do a little subdivision on it. Go. Extra mesh objects. Thank you. Holy shit, you just came out of nowhere. <laughs> Thank you for answering my question. I, I literally was like, I think I know what that is, but I forgot what that is. Okay, extra me extra objects. There it is. Thank you. Appreciate it. Because I did remember I, I turned that on in like a previous version of Blender, but I forgot what the name was. Just lurking. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, I need like more reference images for like what a visor actually looks like. Like I know what a like a motorcycle helmet looks like, but I don't know what a with like a I don't know ski mask. This is like ski mask ish. Actually, I'm j I'm stupid. I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, I'm supposed to use this simple deform. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the, I don't know what I was doing. I'm supposed to be using tools to my advantage here. I don't know what the hell just happened there. Uh Okay, it definitely ex is expanding it, which is not what I want, but whatever, we'll make it fit. Usually, we want to Hmm. This doesn't look right, but I mean, it's giving me the proper shape. I don't know why. Oh, I guess it's because it's... Yeah, yeah, there it is. I see. I see now. I understand. I'm gonna apply that to this. What? Oh. Okay, well... That makes sense. 
Okay, let's just like bend it a bit. And then. Expand it to the edge. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll apply that and then I'll just do that instead. What? There we go. Uh, and then we'll do a mirror. Maybe elastic deform. Already having to deal with some issues here. Because I just realized that I was like, oh, maybe I should actually model some hard surface stuff. I've, I've never actually, like, given it a good college try when it comes to hard surface stuff. And so already I'm finding some issues <laughs> with how this is going. Uh, let's do, let's do a cylinder, uh, let's do this. And then, we'll try to match this. What even is this? What what's the purpose of this? This is why I kind of hate referencing from AI because it's like, what the fuck is this supposed to do? <laughs> what is this supposed to do? Like, is it like a? I'm gonna assume this is this is what you usually do when you're trying to like look from concept. I'm gonna assume that this is like a brace for like this, cause that shit looks like a headphone. I don't know why a helmet like this would need a headphone. Like a headphone band specifically. I think this is just support. I'm gonna assume that that's support. So I'm gonna just model this roughly to what I need. And then I'm gonna. I'm gonna model the, the band later. Why is it not moving? Is this not. Okay. Oh. Oh. Well, that's odd. Ah, I see. There you go. That's why. Uh. I also keep doing view to camera. I probably should just do this. Or so. Just so it's easier for me to work with. Uh. Let's Okay. Uh, I think it's this. Okay. Go. Okay. So that will be the top, I guess. And then I'll add the brace. Whatever that is. <laughs> whatever whatever the purpose of that is. Um sure man. We'll we'll add that in. Did it just not go through? There we go. Okay. Let's move this back. Uh
Okay. Solidify. Sure. <laughs> sure. Let's let's humor this. Whatever that is. Um, okay. It's not matching perfectly, but we can do that later. Uh, alrighty. Let's go in. Let's actually set that there so that every time we add something, a single vert. Okay. I, I guess I can't have that as an object. I do, I need to like have a cube and then add a single vert. What? Huh? There we go. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 what the heck? I don't know what that was. It's a little strange. It's just hard to see. Yeah, I was like, what's happening? Why can't I see the single bird? <laughs> Always happens. That makes sense. Also, how are you? I uh, I hope you're doing good. Are you uh, are you a fellow Blender creator yourself? And uh, what's your what's your thing? I usually animate on this channel because I'm trying to get better at animation. But I decided, you know what? I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some modeling because I want to. Make it a little more high poly. Like, do you do modeling, animation, lighting? What's your What's your area of expertise? Animation videos, really? Late, early, so I pop by. Anime style modeling. You know what's funny? I actually uh, I'm thinking of coming back to VTubing. I used to be a VTuber, and one of the things that I noticed was that there seems to be a very uh, strong like group when it comes to what VTuber you're supposed to go for. Nowadays, it's like... I feel like I did the right choice of just going for a 3D VTuber. And so I'm actually thinking of making a new character and posing as that. What the hell is this symmetry? <laughs> what, what is that symmetry? Um, and I just thought, hey, uh, that would be, it would be perfect because I now know how to do it properly. There's so many resources now because before there were no like resources of how to do any of the anime stuff in 3D. Now, luckily, it's everywhere. So that's nice. <laughs> Not symmetrical at all. AI things. Yeah. AI. Long way to go. Yeah, there's now infinite resources for for anime stuff, which is nice. Like... Before you had you just had to work with like what you got. And the people who do know how to do it, it's like they won't really tell you, obviously. Because it's their livelihood. It makes sense. You know, they're not obligated to tell you. I also just figured out what bisect means in the mirror modifier. I kept seeing bisect and I'm like, I don't know what the hell that means. It's basically the same thing as if you use the auto mirror modifier, um, but it's procedural. It removes the other side so you don't have to deal with it like automatically. I've been using Blender for four years and that's 
the only time I realized what that does. <laughs> like, I had zero clue what that is supposed to do. Yeah, right? Like, who, who, uh, who named that? I guess that, like, you know what? I, you know, it's probably just my English being terrible. That's probably why. I'm like, what the hell is bite sec? A quick Google search probably could have solved this entire ordeal, but I just decided to never touch bisect at all. Okay. I want this edge flow to go all the way to the helmet. Let's do that. What the hell is going on? Da, 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 da. Let's do this. This will most likely wrap around the visor, I'm assuming. Uh, how will this go? Hang on. Okay, it's kind of hard to see the reference. Let me just duplicate it. Okay, well, the past part two doesn't make it any easier either. Um,. Let's turn it off. Um, what do you do? Okay, so it like goes up here and then there's like a line. <laughs> I I guess that's like ex an extra sheet. I guess I don't know what the fuck that do, but sure. Okay, it's a it's a thing. Okay. And that leads to... You know what? I'm gonna do some creative liberties. Creative liberties. Liver... Liver... Liveries. I'm gonna do... <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I, I'm gonna do... Uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect it to the visor. Like the, the upper visor. Okay, just gonna connect all of this stuff to the visor. It's probably a faster way to do this, but currently I'm trying it out the the long way. You know what's funny? I keep like you know one of the things that I actually noticed is that I actually want it to be a hard surface modeler. Or hard surface sculptor. I, I, I watch a lot of um, Chaos Masons. Chaos Masons. That's how I think you pronounce it. But um, he sculpts in ZBrush. And he sculpts a lot of mechs. And a lot of other stuff too. But like he also specializes in that sort of front. I really like his, uh, his live streams. The problem is that there isn't a lot of hard surface stuff in Blender. Which is slightly strange. And if there is, it's like, you know, like, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> like, I know the, the general principle of what they're doing, but like, it's so alien to me that like, I can't figure out what they're doing. Like, they're doing like BSDF stuff now. Like, they're, they're using like procedural geometry. To like make a mesh and then they just sort of mold it into place. Like they use metaballs. And now they're using like a Geo Nodes version of metaballs, but like it's so weird. Like that's that's like how they would hard surface model. Like I've seen this uh program called Plasticity. It's very similar to that. Or it's like almost like a glob. Like you're working with a glob and then you refine it to whatever you need.
yeah, it's like it's it's wild. Back in my day, you used to hard surface model everything. That's why it's called hard surface, darn it. Nowadays, we got glarb modeling. We got proc modeling. We got all the modeling. It's crazy that this, all of this happened in like a span of a, a year or something. Like, 3D has changed so much. I'm so glad that I hopped on the train. Like, right as it, like, starts changing this much. If I hopped onto Blender, like, now, beesh. It would be amazing because there's a lot more resources, I guess. But, like, goddamn, bro. There's so many things nowadays. <laughs> there's so many. It's unreal. All right, uh, I'm getting bored of this. I'm gonna do this. That looks fucked up. I don't know how the hell am I gonna model that. Uh, I'm gonna assume that that's like small, smaller. There we go. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna shift this so that it's actually usable. Thank you very much. And I'm gonna do. I don't know if you have seen the the AI generated models, the the three D. It's like it's text to three D. I love how some people are saying that like, oh my goodness, it's like almost game ready. And I saw the topology on that shit, and I was like, you would like cry. <laughs> like I saw the topology on those models. It's like. The, the the unwrap is like unreadable. Like you can't like if you if you wanted to change it, like there's no way to change. It. Like usually if you unwrap something, you can change it. This is like impossible. It's impossible to like to to add new stuff to it, which kind of removes the whole transformative nature of it, which I don't get. Like you might as well make it transformative, but no. They were like, oh my goodness, it's ready. And then they, they claimed that like Unreal Engine can run it. I, I don't know if you've seen the meme, but there was that meme where it's like uh, a cube and then a cube with nanite or something. And it's like a, a million poly cube to do the exact same thing. It was the exact, it was literally that meme. I saw that one, yeah. <laughs> I was like, brother. Like, I, look, I get, like, I'm literally, I, I use AI for, like, references, right? Like, that makes sense in my head. Ethical, ethical is questionable, but still, I, I use it in a way to actually p empower myself as a creative. The whole, that, that whole ordeal is kind of like, okay. Like, <laughs> like, I don't, <laughs> I don't get it. I'm kind of lost in the sauce on that one. Like, it's not supposed to, like, replace the artist. It's supposed to, like, empower us. But for some reason, they seem to claim that that would be the case. I don't know why I'm going on a an AI. I guess it's because I'm using an AI image, which is probably why went in my head. Uh, one, two, and then, there you go, something like that. I steer clear of AI stuff just because of the drama around it. I, I understand that, yeah. I think, uh, I think AI itself has got, like, honestly, I'm getting sick of the word AI. Ever since, like, ChatGPT came around, dude, I'll make my character, and my character's in peace, exactly. Like I feel like I feel like I I have now been drowned with how they use the word AI nowadays. It's like anything can be AI if you call it that enough. That's a not normal. Hang on, there we go. 
uh, can't escape it at Tekken Art Fields. Yeah, like it, it, it's just now the new buzzword. It's like when people were saying like algorithm back in the day. When YouTube introduced it. This is a new word. Okay. I'm gonna slant this, I think. I don't know what the form of this is. I think it's like downwards. It's like it's like slanted a bit. So it's like it's like that, I think. From what I see. So I'm gonna do that. Move it a bit downwards. And then uh his visor also feels like it should also be like here. Hey boss, how you doing? Not mo not animating today, just doing some modeling because I felt like it. See how fast we can do this. How long does it take? Holy shit, I'm so slow. That's crazy. This took me 30 minutes. I'm a disgrace. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay, I ne definitely need to get faster I think I I got disillusioned by the fact that I thought I could model this quickly because I can model low poly pretty quickly um I am dead wrong that is not how that works doesn't mean you can low poly model quickly it doesn't mean you can model anything quickly Uh, let's see. Yeesh, I don't know what that visor's doing. Uh, I'm gonna add like a rubber padding on that or something. Bloody hell, man. You are a snail. 30 minutes to make this shit. I can literally make a coffee and make this helmet in five minutes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know how the fuck you would make this model in five minutes. That would be crazy. I think, I think, okay, okay. I'm, I'm going too small, all right? I think I, I remember once from Sensei, he said something like in the words that I remember to this day. Look bigger, not smaller. Thank you, Sensei. I appreciate that. I love your work with AI. <laughs> I love the I love the with AI. I love the work with the AI specifically. Not the not the non AI stuff. I I made some non AI stuff too. I made I made some animations. You know that. You know, that'd be that'd be great. Alright, whatever. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh let's do This is like fall outy ish now that I'm looking at it. Okay, well that's like a stretch. <laughs> that's like a... <laughs> I literally said something that like, oh this flare looks like the fallout helmet and I was like, Yeah, it literally looks like fallout, right? No. What are you smoking out of your Zaza, bro? <laughs> my man, my man is losing it. Muck losing it, brother. Uh. 
using AI to model in five minutes. Uh, I I don't know about you, but this is this didn't took five minutes. <laughs> I think this took uh time six of that amount currently. This has taken me thirty minutes to get to to this state. So uh, quite quite a bit of time. Quite a bit of time. I want to try a gun next time, just because I think that would be cool. That doesn't make sense. Oh, no, 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 no. That's like, uh, we can, we can fix that. We can fix that. Oh me oh my na 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 me oh five na 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 There we go. Uh, let's see. Alrighty. Uh, what's the form on this? It's like flat. It's like, I guess. It makes sense. Um, there's gonna be like a brace, I think? This, this form doesn't make any sense. I don't know what I'm doing. It's like, it goes into here. And then something like that. Cause I feel like it like peels up. Like peels up here. I don't know why, but I also I have been now weirdly into Fallout because of this YouTuber called Mrs. Fallout. I keep seeing her in my YouTube shorts recommended. I've never played or have seen Fallout, but I've seen all her shorts. <laughs> like, I literally have seen every single one. Because it is interesting. It's, it's a cool channel. All she does is that she collects and makes, like, Fallout items or something. Or Fallout looking items. You're so cool, man. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see. I just looked at her channel. Yeah, yeah. All she does is that she, she plays Fallout music. I'm assuming it's Fallout music or in the style of Fallout. And she, uh, she just makes miniatures or she buys miniatures and showcases them. I rarely play Fallout games, but I love watching playthroughs. I've never seen, like, a Fallout thing. Like... I know that it's, like, open world. And I know that, like, it's, like, uh... It's, like, a, it's like something to do with, like, apocalypse, right? I don't know anything else about it. Like, all, all I know is that. That is my... <laughs> that is my base knowledge of it. And, oh, right, and there's also the cartoon. There's the cartoon of the guy. That. Like that's that's all I know of uh, of Fallout really. Like if I wanna be if I wanna be real, I don't know much. Like the 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 world itself is really cool looking though. Hard surface Pip Boy coming soon. I think the what's the Pip Boy? Is it like a is it like a gaming console? Pip boy. Huh. 
I'm assuming it's like a piece of equipment or something. The wrist thing they wear? Interesting. It's like a Ben 10 situation. Alright. What happened to that series, by the way? Is that series still around or is it like gone gone? I haven't heard of Ben 10 like in a long, long time. I don't know what happened to it. Like, they just kind of went, okay, that's the end of the series. Like, I, it, my ass didn't even know that um, regular show is, like, finished. Like, finished, finished. It took a chatter to literally tell me, hey, yo, uh, yeah, regular show is, like, finished. It's, like, done. It's, like, they had, like, an ending and everything. And I was, like, what? I thought they, like, because I, I grew up in, like, an age where, like, it's, Spongebob era where everything just kind of went on forever like all cartoons just kind of went on for as long as they had right so it's kind of weird uh seeing cartoons go like it's that's that's kind of wild Like, it's strange seeing cartoons just kind of end, which makes sense. I think it's actually good that cartoons end. It's a nice it's a nice closing of the book. I like it when it sort of just ends. I mean, look at Spongebob. Jeez. I, I can barely recognize my boy anymore. I don't know what happened. I remember I watched uh, an episode of Spongebob and Netflix. I don't know what they did. Like... I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. The magic is gone. There's something about the episodes that just don't make sense. He don't make sense no more. Can't be as funny as they used to be. Like, I guess. Like, I don't know if that's like a writing thing or is it like a... Just running out of ideas thing? Like, I don't know. Like, I've heard that apparently Simpsons is getting slightly better or something. Like, I don't know. They don't allow Squidwards to have huge ties and explode anymore? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was... That, that episode was, like, oddly scary to me. I don't know why. I think it's the imagery. It's the imagery that, like, right before he explodes that, like, made me kind of scared. Did you see the new Deadpool trailer? I did see it! Oddly, yes. I actually... I did see it. The, the Deadpool and Wolverine thing. I feel like, um... Ryan Reynolds... Is like the one thing that I actually feel like can make Marvel interesting to me again. I, I and truth be told, I did like uh, I did like Loki. I remember watching Loki. I thought it was cool. Like I I think it was neat. But besides that, I don't I don't really know anything else. Like I kind of was like I'm not that interested in watching WandaVision. Uh, I don't know. What movies they got in the... I haven't even seen the new Guardians of the Galaxies movie. Uh, old cartoons had a lot of terrifying imagery. That's what I think changed. I don't think it's just the imagery, though. Like, I, I think... Yeah, something about the writing. The writing... The writing's different. Like, the, the way the, the Spongebob talks and the way that, like... Uh, th th like... I remember specifically telling my brother because I was watching it with my brother and I was like, this feels like a kid's show. Which like, duh, it's Spongebob. But like, no. I, I don't remember Spongebob being just a kid's show. I think that's what changed. That what changed is that, that like, the writing for Spongebob back in the day, yeah, yeah, like, the, it used to be layered. It used to have, like, 
jokes that made sense for the kid and for the adult. Now it almost feels like it's just for the kid. Which like I get it. But like, I don't know. So so it it kind of reminded me no offense. It kind of reminded me of how like um Butch Hartman cartoons are like written. Like from what I remember, Fairly Odd Parents is just is is like a I would say that's like a just kids show. It had like some cool memorable moments, but like for the most part, I don't remember a whole lot from the Fairly Odd Parents. All I remember is that, you know, the two fairies, they had a baby at one point, the kid, and like the two parents. And also Mr. Crocker. Mr. Crocker's probably the only thing that I remember vividly from the Fairly Odd Parents. Like, that's what I would consider, like, a kid show. Like, a kid-kid show. It, feel, it felt like they, they transformed Spongebob from Spongebob to Fairly Odd Parents. Which is kind of weird. Like, I don't know how to feel about that. And I definitely didn't like the vibe because after like one episode, I believe the episode that I watched was the, the Daredevils episode where like Spongebob and Patrick wanted to be Daredevils. I was like, I don't know, bro. I think I'm done. I think, uh, I think, I think that's, I think that's it. Enough for, Sp enough Spongebob for me. Something about it. All right. So far, so good. We got something here. I don't know what it is, but it's something. Uh, maybe I need to like dissolve a few of these just because. But don't forget about Crimson Chin. Oh yeah, Crimson Chin. That was cool. I think Butch was really good with like character designs. It's very like easy to memorize kind of character designs. I think also uh, I remember from his like YouTube channel. He I, I think he talked about how it was also out of necessity because obviously animations need to be done really quickly, and so the characters need to be like super duper simple, like to a point where it looked like just polygons on a character, and that's kind of how he designed them to make sure that it's like as fast as they can turn it out. Alright, I'm getting bored of how this visor's looking. Let's do the headphone looking ass thing. Again, I don't know what the purpose of that is, but we're gonna we're gonna go do it. <laughs> we're gonna do it. I I don't know what that is, but it's it's something. It's something. We're gonna like combine all the layers later. For now, we're just kind of blocking the shape out. Uh, wait. Is that how I'm supposed to do this? I forgot how I'm supposed to- oh wait. I think it's like this. So say if I wanted a bevel like that. Do you loft your helmets? I am really bad at English then because I don't know what loft means. <laughs> what does loft mean? Can you explain to me what loft means? That's crazy. I don't know what that actually means, straight up.
Okay. Uh, sure. Method to create complicated 3D shapes. I, um... Well, since I don't know the word, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think I do. I kind of just sculpt it into place, which is kind of like a terrible way to go about it. But like, I kind of just do that. Uh, I'm going to try to think of something there later. Um, let's actually start connecting these. I want to see this. In one place. Okay, that's like the thing. But that also is like slightly looking upwards. So I get that. Maybe like I'll make this slightly bit higher. Going up much higher. So high. There you go. I kind of just do this, if that's what you're asking. I kind of just do that. I kind of just match it into place. Obviously, this is probably, like, not great. Because, like, I guess realistic-wise, you're supposed to do this in a proper modifier, proc gen way. But I kind of just do that. <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I am a very destructive modeler. Unless if that is what Loft is. I like force it into place. Alright. There you go. It kind of is looking very flat. I just realized maybe we can like bow it out a bit more. Actually, instead, we can just bow it out further back instead of altering the shape here. We can just do this instead. So now the the silhouette from the AI still looks the same, but now I can keep that in there. There we go. Something like that. I'm not a big fan of how what the geometry is going here. Probably should start curve modeling whatever the hell I needed to do. Uh, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to just duplicate this. I'm going to convert that into a curve. We'll transform this into a Bezier. There's a lot here. I don't know why. Uh, there we go. And we will add geometry on it. Oh, that doesn't control it? Wait, what? Alright, well, I'm just gonna do... I'm gonna just subdiv... Whatever. Uh, I'm gonna also probably... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do round. I was about to do, like, a squarish thing, but I was like, ah, it probably won't be seen anyway. Like, it needs to be, like, razor thin. 
Like, I'm talking... Like, that. It's like, almost, you can't even see it, kind of thing. And, yeah, that's kind of the point. So, I want this to be, still be seen, obviously. So, I'm gonna... Uh, nudge... As slowly as I can... Until I can see it just peep out of the surface. Because I do want this to be, like, photo-ready, which means that, like, if you, like, zoom into this, that it would actually look good. And it's kind of hard to do that with, like, a janky-ass-looking model. From an AI image, even, so... Yeah. Shit, I'm gonna need to do a corrective on that, do I? <laughs> Fuck. Actually, I probably can. Let me just make sure. Alright, I'm gonna work on that later. A uh, smooth? Nah, it's like too high subdivision that like I can't. There we go. Yeah, we'll 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 smooth that out later. Usually, that's what you do if you want to smooth something out. You want to lower the subdivision count. Because it becomes something like this, where you can actually control how the smoothness is going to go. Uh, Less is more when it comes to stuff like this. Which is why I'm not good at it. Because <laughs> I go a little too overboard immediately. I wanna figure this shit out. What is this? What is this, bro? Okay. Creative mind trying to dissect. I'm assuming this shit is a glass dome. This is like a window to your mouth. A stereo. <laughs> a stereo would actually work, kind of. It would kind of work. Are you a texture artist? Kind of. I can do texture work on an asset, but uh, probably not as good as an actual just dedicated texture artist. Yeah, that'll actually work. A stereo? I was thinking of a glass thing, but a stereo would make more sense. I suck at texturing. Yeah, texturing sucks. You have to. You, you kind of have to also be good at... Uh, what do you want to call it? You have to also be pretty good at unwrapping, which is a pain in the ass. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't blame you. It sucks. I don't know, I'm just memeing. <laughs> yeah. That, it would be kind of funny, though. It would be funny to have a speaker on it. I'm gonna do it. Just for the lols. Bad boy's got some beats while committing war crimes, I'm assuming. I don't know who, who wears this helmet. I guess like an air... You know what? Who knows? Maybe it's, it's a friendly pilot. You'll never know. It's probably... It's probably not, you know, bad, right? We, we gotta... We gotta not assume the, the worst, I guess. Uh, okay. Smooth in this. <laughs> War crimes likely, but not guaranteed. True, true. We'll never know what they use this helmet for. It's kind of like how uh, you'll never know 
if you make a character online, what people will do to it. You just kind of have to hope for the best that they don't do anything that is n very unsavory. I guess that works. Man, I'm so bad at like edge flow stuff, it's crazy. What the hell is going on? Burr, 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 burr. All right. So that's like the visor for where the the beats are gonna go through, right? I think... Yeah, I think that'll work. So it's like a small pocket here. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna make this shape. What is that shape? What are those? Nah, I'll, I'll, actually, I'll do that now. Like, pretty good. Uh, let's see. Alrighty, here we go. Let's hope that this will work. Bro, this form is ass. I don't know what is happening to this image, bro. Like, like this wishy-washy form. I don't know what's going on. I can't tell what the fucking form is doing, bro. What am I, a magician? <laughs> I'm gonna just make form out of nowhere? Uh, okay. Uh, fuck, bro. All right, this shit is the, the, um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. Uh, how long has it been? It's been an hour, and this is how much we made in an hour. <laughs> oh, no.
<laughs> oh no. We have a long way to go, mister. We have a long, long road to go. Oh dear me. This is... Not a good. <laughs> this is gonna take a while, brother. Oh boy. Where the hell did I even trace this shit? There. That makes no sense. I should go here. Do that. And then connect this to somewhere. I don't know where. There! That should work. Right? Right. I'm just gonna assume that this shit works. Nope. The hell? Okay. Alright! Okay, so I, I, I made it, like, topologically. It makes kind of some sense. Jeez Louise. Took a while. Okay. Now let's push this in. And pray to our lord, Tom Rosendahl. That everything's gonna be alright. Uh, let's do... No, not that. Let's do this, and then we're gonna correct that later. There we go. All right, interesting looking speaker, I guess. I don't know. My boy, why do you need a stereo in your helmet? Because I can, sir. You're goddamn right. Progress is being made, though. Yeah, it is somewhat, I guess. I do need a reference for how this thing is going to look, because obviously this looks non-existent. I don't know what speaker looks like that, so I'm going to try my best to find some re reference that actually can I can maybe pull from. Uh, That will do, I guess. Something like that. Yeah, I'm getting bored. Let's do the other one. Let's do this one. I'm assuming it's just the same ordeal. Nope, that's not the same ordeal. What is this? <laughs> oh, no. No. What? Okay. What is... Uh... Why didn't it just not make it like a perfect cylinder? What is this? What is that? What is this chip? What is... <laughs> okay. Thanks for the hearts, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. What is this, bro? What is that? I need to model this shit, too. 
The world is cruel. Okay. All right. Okay. That's not too bad. At least for now. We'll do... This. And then we'll do that. Right? Right. What do you guys think? What should be the set dressing for this? Can you guys think of a scenario of what this helmet... Where this helmet will be? Think of a, think of a place where this will be. Because I do want it to be in an environment, obviously. Because I want it to, to have some sort of, uh, I don't know, vibe. I moved the... I just realized I moved the reference image. In a locker! Ooh, in a locker would be interesting. Uh, Locker room. Yeah, like, uh, maybe like, uh, what, what, what would, like, I'm assuming, like, uh, hmm. Like an empty one? Like, is it abandoned? Is it an abandoned helmet? Or is it, like, a used locker? Not gonna lie to y'all, I don't know if I'm willing to model the environment set too. I'm gonna, like, try my best to recreate it with whatever assets I have on Blender Kit. Which is the, the asset library here. Like, I believe there's a locker. Is it paid? No, I think it's paid. Oh, <gasps> there is a free locker rejoice, yes. So there is a free locker. So, like, I can, I can, like, potentially make something. 100 millimeter? Like a close-up macro? That can work, I guess. Uh, let's make this like rounded, maybe. I've been watching this uh, sculpt guy, sculptor guy, Speed Char. I don't know if anybody else is also familiar with him, but I highly recommend him, just because of how practical. Hit, like just watching him sculpt is like it's so cool wa to watch him sculpt because it, it looks like magic when he does it when it does it like it literally looks like he's sculpting in two times speed and I was like how how can you just do this like again I'm assuming it's because it's it's he's been doing it for so long that he can just do it like it's almost like automatic to him like, he talks to Chad and shit. But I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't know if it's just because he's so used to it. Like, he's so used to the internet. Because I really do think that he's, like, you know. No offense. He's probably way older than me, right? But the amount of comments he gets of, like, people who, like, try to backseat him is insane. Like, it's not even funny. Like, I I keep re-watching his streams and stuff. And there's always, like, people who would, like, backseat what he's doing. And the way he responds to them are so, like... It's, it's, it's very fascinating. Because he doesn't respond to it with, like, angst or whatever. But he responds to it with a very, like, elderly tone. Where it's like, hmm. I see. But, you know... There, there is something to be said when you think that someone's art sucks, and it's because that you, you know, like, like he's kind of like, uh, he's just very calm about it all, and I don't get it. I think it's his elderly Bulgarian roots, maybe. I don't know. Something about that man is such a Chad. He's a literal Chad. Okay, this form is, this form is a far cry for what it's supposed to be. Passive aggressive, 
I guess, yeah. I heard the Europeans apparently are really good at that. Like, here in the Philippines, passive aggressiveness is kind of, like, weird. Like, I don't know. I can't tell... Or maybe I'm just, like, really bad at socially reading people. That's probably what that... <laughs> That's probably what that is. <laughs> I just can't read the situation correctly. Negative feelings instead of, uh, openly talking about them. Right, right. He's so good at just sort of, like... Handling those situations, it's crazy. While he's sculpting, right? If I, like, currently, I'm already sort of losing my mind modeling this helmet. He, like, does all that shit while he's sculpting. To be fair, I believe from what I remember on his streams, he, like, he says that he practices before he, like, actually does it or something. I think. From what I remember. Like, he, he says that he practices sometimes to make sure that he can really do it properly. Still, it's impressive. The man is just too good. He's also very honest. I've seen that a lot with, like, uh, with artists like that. He's just kind of like, yeah, you know. He talks about literally anything his chat throws at him. I respect that. I think it also makes sense because he's, you know, he, he probably has just experienced a lot more in life. So he probably just has more knowledge to share. Yeah, I like him too. He's like one of the first people... That I got, uh, that showed me how to sculpt something. It's an invaluable resource. He's, like, amazing. I wish I had the money to buy his courses. But, like, if I, if I ever get the chance, I probably will buy, like, a course from him. Like, for sculpting specifically, like, stylized stuff. Because he's, he's pretty good at it. He, like, he he almost has mastered it in, like, a, some sort of scientific fashion. Like, he just knows what to do. Like, if I can, if I can figure out his formula. A Jedi Master. Yeah, exactly. What's his name? Speed Char. It's speed and then C-H-A-R uh, in one word. There's also speed char live where he goes live and he I think it's is it just on his speed char? Did he move his live streams to speed char or is it still speed char live? Or speed car. Cuz it kind of sounds speed char speed car. I don't know what it is. But it's uh like the, where does he live stream? Cuz like he usually lives before he used to live stream on Twitch and then now he live streams on his live channel, Speed Char Live. Does he still live stream there or does I think he does. I think it's still live streams there. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll highly recommend to check it out. It's uh like if you're especially if you're doing character work, he's he's the goat. He even has like a full process breakdown of how he made like a game ready character for Gameloft, which is where he used to work. Like he uh he he made a full breakdown of how he sculpted, retopologized like everything. I don't think the only thing he didn't do is rig cuz I don't think he's a rigger. He doesn't he doesn't rig stuff. So, but still invaluable information. And also especially because I think I I absorb a lot of knowledge just from observing things. So like him just like doing his thing where he all he does oh sorry I'm so sorry about that um all he does is like um sculpt in a very fast pace I just look at it and I'm just like wow like oh that's how he does this that's how he does that like I kind of learn from him slowly 
That's why I like watching like time lapse videos of like people making art. It's almost like I can see how they came up with the stuff, how they built it to that point. I don't know if it's just me. That's why I I made this channel. Cause like if I'm gonna make art, and if I ever get to a point where I feel like oh this is like interesting for people, I want people to know that you know I have everything on display. That they they can get to this point because I've broadcasted it here. Just to make just to make sure that they still have hope. Especially, bro, for animations. Dude, there is like nothing. Yeah, Triple A channel, specifically Triple A. Like, there's no animation stuff for Blender here. It's crazy. Like, there's like one in like Blender Studio where he like commentates how he animated something. But that's like, apart from that, most of that shit is in Maya or like, not much really. There's now Alex Story, which is great. That's a new resource. But that took so long to get that thing. There's also the... What was that guy? Animade? I think that's his name. Anim... Is it Animade? It's like the, 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 the pink A. I remember that was one of the channels that I saw. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Right? That's a cool resource. They didn't have like a course and stuff. And I was like, okay, that's cool. To, like sort of get you a head start on animating in Blender. Saika Fu. Uh, Saika Fu. Uh, oh! She does, uh, Blender stuff, I'm assuming? I don't even think it's a she. It's like, it's just the character that she's working on. <laughs> Anna Sau Anna Sawai. Or something like that. Interesting. So I'm assuming she does, uh, or he or she does sculpting. Fascinating. Whoa! Oh, that's all. That's all it is. It's it's like portrait. He sculpts portrait stuff. That's so interesting. What's funny is that I've I've been trying to get the hang of uh hair. I feel like this would definitely be an amazing resource for that. So I'll I'll do that for sure for sure. Cause like I've been having a hard time trying to figure out hair. Cause I wanted to make like some realistic characters for my portfolio. And I was like, bro, why is hair still the hardest thing in this godforsaken program? <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, exactly, right? Like I saw it, I was like in Blender. And it's all just there fully. Yeah, I, I subscribe to him. That's crazy. It's fascinating. There we go. Okay. Uh, how much is time left? We have about like two, three hours left. Which is not great to know, but it's uh, it's fine, I guess. Uh, does it matter if I like move this? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. So I can actually just connect it to here. If I'm really, if I ever really so choose. Something like that. He's on holiday, Chinese New Year. Right, yeah. We also celebrated the Chinese New Year. It was uh it was fun. Got pizza. Got some uh got some dessert stuff. 
pretty sick. We don't celebrate it like like a lot. We only like celebrate as if in like a small celebration kind of thing. We do have it. I think do we have it as a holiday? I think. I think so, right? I can't I can't remember if it is like a legit holiday. Is it like a legit holiday, like a legal holiday for for countries to do? I'm assuming it is because uh, from for some people I believe it's like a full celebration, right? Like they get their family together and everything. I'm assuming it is. Cuz like for us it's more of like a oh, that's cool, you know. That's neat. All right, so that is connected to there. Let's just dissolve this edge. I don't know what the hell that edge is doing there. Uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, sure. And then this will probably connect back to there. All right. California recognizes. That. I'm not sure anywhere else in the states that is. I see. Because, like, I don't remember, actually, if that was, like, an actual holiday here in the Philippines. Like, I don't... I don't know. Not too sure. Okay. Okay. dokey. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna have to, like, form that to what I need. But besides that, I mean, brother, we are kind of cooking... Uh, worked at Digital Domain California. Sweet. It's nice to see Blender actually, like, you know, in the, in the big studios. That's fun. Like, I know that Spider-Verse also used Blender a lot on its production. Like, that's pretty sick. Very fun. I remember the olden days where Blender was still a very niche thing and now it's everywhere. It's like pretty much like is the premier software now for 3D stuff. Unless if you like do sculpting then, you know. Even for sculpting like you can now use Blender pretty competitively. Like ZBrush is still like performant, but maybe one day it will catch up, right? It'll catch up the ZBrush in performance. After that, I mean, all you gotta do is make the add-ons for ZBrush compatible to Blender, and I mean, you're cooking. After that, because currently the biggest difference is just the performance. You can't argue about the performance of ZBrush, which is funny because I've never actually used ZBrush. I used it like a little bit for work. Like, a, for a work application, but that's, like, that was it. I don't, I don't use ZBrush. I just like the, the, how Blender works so much that, like, I just don't use it. Okay. Uh, this needs to be like a, ooh, what? What is this? What is this line? What is that? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna assume that that's not connected to this. It's just like a big ol' one nothing burger right there. I'm just gonna try and connect it to here instead. What? I'm sorry, what? Oh, okay, because uh, this is like supposed to cover the- Alright, oh, I see, I see, I see. Are you a Nuke artist? I haven't actually used Nuke. I remember that was like a big thing. Um, Like, uh, I saw from Corridor Digital, one of them was a Nuke artist. I, I know it's like a compositing thing, right? It's like a compositing software. I have never, like, 
attempted to touch nuke. I know it's like for VFX. That's like a big thing for it. I don't know much about it, besides from that, really. If I'm gonna be real. Natron? Natron? Like, I, I have no clue. And also, also, here's the thing. This is just a weird rant for Corridor Digital. Fusion? Um, it sounds from I, I don't know what that... Yeah, I don't know what Fusion is, though. I'm, I'm trying to remember what Fusion is. I don't remember what it is. Did I just put that in the back? Gosh darn. Hmm. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Hey, maybe you should do that in the front, dumbass. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what fusion is. I don't know what fusion is. Maybe I should just hide this while I'm working on it, yeah? Uh... After Effects? Oh. I know Fusion from, like, Da Vinci. But, like, I, I don't know... I don't know what... The standalone, if there's a standalone program called Fusion. Like, F Fusion from Da Vinci is, like, the... The compositing thing in DaVinci Resolve. That's the that's what that's what that was, but I don't know if that's what you're talking about. And like uh from what I saw from Nuke It's like the same sort of system where it's like node based. Kinda like how uh shader stuff works in Blender, from what I remember. Okay. Yeah, okay. Fusion from DaVinci. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like the same system. I'm assuming Nuke allows you like more stuff? Or is it just faster? I don't know what the I don't know what the the difference is. Cuz I I did remember hearing about Nuke and I was like, is it like better? Like I I'm I'm not I'm not like a big like VFX person. So I don't know how that shit works. I wish I was more into VFX. I know that, like, if you are into VFX, that, like, that's, like, a pretty hot market. I just don't know. I don't know the lingo. And whatever the hell they use in that industry. I'm lost. Completely lost. All right, let's fix the topology there later. Uh, I'm gonna just hide that real quick. Try to fix this. All right, slightly coming together. Only took an hour and thirty. Hello, hi Santa. Welcome. Okay. Not doing some animation today, we're just uh modeling because why not? Still trying to learn color management. Yeah, I I, I remember hearing that like Da Vinci's like really good at color grading. I don't okay, no cap. I don't know what color grading even does. <laughs> I know that color grading is supposed to make like footage look better. But like I don't know like how like how how does how color work to make it better? All right, I don't know. I don't know how that like that's like magic to me. Ten times better. Like all I know is that you just adjust the saturation. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I like push the saturation. Maybe like 
I don't know, adjust the values or something. I don't know. I don't know what, like, specifics. Like, it can, like, adjust, like, how, what the environment is. Like, maybe, like, oh, this is, like, cold. And in this environment, it's, like, hot. And in this environment, it's, like, I don't know, like, musky, I guess. I don't know. Like, I think that's what that does. Because I've seen people take, like, color grading seriously. Like, I don't know what... I, I, am I Am I missing the loop here? I don't know what's... Like, I know that it's a very important to, like, have proper coloring on your, like, stuff. But, like, there's, like, these setups where, like, you need to have, like, a specific monitor. And, like, you need to have, like, like your lights turned off. And, like, it's, like, very specific workflows to get a specific color. Like, I don't, I don't understand. That's, like, that's, like, out of my, like, knowledge. Like, I've seen, like, I've seen the, the Linus Tech Tip, like, office work, like, uh, walkthrough, where he just, like, walks around the office. They have, like, a room specifically for color grading. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, how, how does that, how does it make sense? And like I see in like job postings that like that's a that's like a full on just job description to be a colorist. Like that's crazy. How would your like like I guess like how would your how would you even gather experience from that? Like you just color grade a bunch of stuff? I guess. And like if it looks 10 times better, you got the job. Like, it's so, it's such a different world from where, like, for, for instance, for 3D, it's like, okay, you make this thing, or you make this thing, or, like, like in, in Colorist, it's like, you just need to be good at colors. Like, just make this image look better with colors. Uh, like, what? How? Learn workflows. Like is there like a is there like a badly graded image compared to like a well graded image? Like how does the how how does that compare like for price? If you get like a high paid colorist to color something and a you know like not a very well experienced one, that would be a fun video to watch actually. If someone were to make that video. A video where you compare someone who like knows digital stuff. Like for me, for instance, I know like digital stuff. I know how like color generally works, but I don't know like color specific things versus an actual like professional colorist that knows what they're doing. That would be such a cool video. That would be so interesting. Like how would you? Because like I saw the video of um like. Apparently, it's, like, footage that's, like, ruined. Like, really bad footage. And they rescued it by color grading. And I saw it, and I was like, what? Huh? How, do, how does that make sense? How do you turn, like, an image that's, like, barely... Like, it's barely workable to something that actually looks pretty good, right? Like, that's sorcery. But I feel like that's, like, the, the most high-end of uh color grading that's like the stuff that's like actually paid the big bucks for kind of thing but if say if you're doing like a regular color grading job what would be the the stark differences between like an amateur slash newbie to a professional like I, I would love to see that like even those terms like log i know that there's this thing in blender there's this shit sequencers i have no clue what they do <laughs> i know that like agx is like good because it has like high dynamic range what's dynamic range i don't know i think it gives you more colors i think more colors means better i think i don't know bro i'm lost in the sauce brother i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about man
Like it's that. Like I have no idea how far that rabbit hole goes, kind of thing. It's so like beyond my depth that I have no idea what it is. Like I don't know what dynamic range is. That that's like a camera thing, right? Am I am I dumb? I think that's a camera thing. I've heard pe camera people say that, like, oh, it has a high dynamic range or something. Like, I don't know what the, what the hell dynamic range is. <laughs> right, it's a camera thing. I don't know, I don't know what that is. I've heard, like, photographer people say that. I'm a camera nerd, I see. That makes sense. Like, I, I guess, like, if you're gonna be good at, like, uh, cameras, you're gonna be good at just color in general. Bro, I put on, like, an Instagram filter, and <laughs> that's it. <laughs> like, bloop, Instagram filter, like, uh, I, I don't know, like, fall. Maybe, maybe, like, maybe 0.6, I don't know, that, that works. I have no clue. Clueless, even. Clueless. Surely color grading isn't that hard, you know? That kind of thing. But I saw that video of like how they rescued it and it's like black magic. There's no way. Literally black magic. <laughs> Get it? Because like Da Vinci Resolve is like black whatever. Um, Let's see. I wonder what is that the reason why they called it black magic? It's because it's it literally is a magic trick. The things you make in this program is literally like it feels like a magic trick kind of thing. All right, I uh, I need to model this in somehow. I don't know how, but I'm going to do it. Uh I guess like in usually that's how you make like a circle yes that's exactly how the circle looks like uh where is loop tools circle there we go see what did i tell ya it's a circle Okay. Topology wise, this looks like dog shit. There is no second statement. <laughs> it just looks like dog shit. There's no there's no rescuing. Uh there's no good side. There's no on the other hand. Nope. None of that. Uh I'm gonna try to maybe fix it a bit. Eh. Yeah, we're screwed. Okay. Okay, okay. That is what I like to call something. And we do this. A little skip and a hop. What? Okay. There you go. Okay, there you go. Hard modeled into it. Hey James, why didn't you just use a, a union bullion? Shut up, okay? It's perfect. Anyway. <laughs> what kind of bug tells the time? A clock roach. Man, I'm so bad at coming up with jokes, it's crazy. Like, I was trying to come up with a joke to counterbalance that joke. Uh, 
Uh, I don't... Mm, sure. Shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was not good. Uh, uh... Fix that. There we go. Thank you. Shit. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna, like, circleize it. Circleize? Is that even a word? Circleize. When, like, smart people want to sound smart. I'm gonna circleize that uh, to that topic. I don't know. I, 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 I like, I just re like, uh, I don't know this, but apparently when you, like, get a job and stuff, you just, like, start to learn words that they use a lot in professional settings, like, circling back, or, like, what was that? What was, what was that? Uh, uh, moving the needle, words like that. Like, I don't know, like, I wasn't aware of those words, so, like, I literally had to, like, look them up. While I was on the job. Luckily, I, like, didn't really need to learn a lot of those words. Because they they also don't really use those words in the company that I used to work at. So it's fine. But, like, so weird to see, like, a different set of words purely for this purpose. I also don't know what to uh what to make for the kaiju anim challenge submission. Do you guys have any ideas? There's this uh there's this challenge going around where we need to like model not model, animate it's the anim challenge that's so fifteen seconds. Where uh we need to animate like a monster like a monster thing. That's like the the, the theme for this month. And they even gave you like a free rig to work with. I don't know if it's even available to Blender. I I, I think it's probably not available to Blender. So, whoopsie daisy, I guess. But link the challenge. I think it's in the website. It's in the Anim Challenge website. I want to get out of my comfort zone to model a kaiju. I have no idea where to start. Ooh, modeling a monster. Oh, that's that's interesting. I kind of want to do that now. You know what? Tomorrow, we might. Tomorrow, we might do that. I don't know what monster to, to sculpt, though. Or to, to make. Like... A kaiju? What's a kaiju? I don't know Japanese. I don't know what I don't know what kaiju is. Is it like a specific monster? Godzilla. It's specifically Godzilla. Okay. Like, it would be uh, it would be kind of sick. It means monster. Oh, just monster. Okay. Well, I guess any monster will do. So I'll I'll do I'll make like a monster. The problem is I don't know what kind of monster. I kind of want to make like a kraken, like a tentacle monster, but I feel like that would be like terrible to rig. <laughs> so, actually, eh, kinda. I remember there was like a video for like Pierre Picard of how to like rig a tentacle. There's also the rigify just tentacle uh preset. Animating wise, I don't know how the hell that will go, but you know, would be interesting at least. You know what? I'm gonna like make that chip separate. Just because that pissed me off. It pisses me off how this chip is like just like that. I don't know why AI would you make such terrible ass looking form? You stupid ass. 
All right. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna... Tr Do I want this to be, like, a thing? Any opinions on Godzilla minus one? Is that the one with, like, the... Okay, I'm so out of the loop when it comes to Godzilla. Is it the one that has, like, Hydra in it? I remember in the end of the movie that I saw, it had, like, oh, there's, like, different Godzillas, and one of them is, like, a Hydra Godzilla, or some shit like that. I don't know. Or is that, like, completely not related to anything? No? Okay. <laughs> I have no idea. Godzilla... Minus one. Let me see. Oh shit, whoa. Oh. Oh, it's like an old style Godzilla in new graphics. Wait, that's actually kind of sick. What? This is like the old style Godzilla. Like the old, uh, old design Godzilla, but in new graphics. That's so cool. It's like a remaster. That's pretty sick. I remember the the old one. Yeah, I mean, it's like jank, but like you know, I mean, in its time, it was probably good. So this is like the the premier Godzilla in modern form. It looks sick. the The guys did a wonderful job on designing this guy holy shit there's so many like gribbles and scales on the boy i wonder how long that shit took um let's see dope trailer i'm gonna check it out after this i always like you looking at like cg stuff i just you know what you know what's funny i literally got recommended this is like the weirdest path that YouTube has taken me. Probably not that weird, but I was uh, I was like trying to search for the 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 pirate song that was like really deep, like the yo ho season. But that one that song, I didn't know that it was in uh in Pirates of the Caribbean, and so I saw like a snippet of it, and I was like, oh shit, that looks badass. Apparently, there's a TikTok version of it. And that was, like, the one that got really popular because it had a bunch of, like, TikTokers sing it or something. Like, TikTok bass singers. And I was like, okay, that's cool. And you'll never guess what <laughs> what led the, what the next video that it recommended me to. Like, try to think of a guess. Think of a guess. Of what it would be. In fact, I will look it up just to make sure what the what the thing is. Is that his name? There it is. Like try to guess what what the next um video that it recommended me to it was. Because it's so out of pocket, but it kind of makes sense. It kind of makes sense, but like it, it was kind of out of pocket. But when I watched it, I was like, "Oh, that's why people are into this." Like, because <laughs> it didn't really struck out to me until I saw it, and it made sense. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. That's a that's a good guess. It led me to Diablo. Like I'm assuming it's the newest one. It's a it's a, a 3D render animated fight scene of Diablo. <laughs> Apparently it's the fight between Inarius. Inarius? Inarius? Is that how you pronounce it? Inarius versus Lilith, which is like the demon lady. Apparently. Like the demon lady in the posters. Um I have never seen Diablo. I have never watched Diablo. I saw this and I was like, oh, I thought it was going to be like a movie trailer or something. This is just in the game. And I was like, what? Yo, that shit's sick. Like, I didn't know that fucking cutscenes are this good now in video games. That's crazy. <laughs> like, I look at it and I was like, what the fuck? It, it looks so, like, 
it looked like a Hollywood movie, and I was like, dude, that is crazy looking. Like, I understand now why people love the series. Look at that thing. It looks fantastic. And also, probably the game is really fun too. I've ne I've never like what like I've never seen people play the game. I know it's like a, I think it's like a roguelike, right? Where you like where you have to go through like different levels or something. I I'm not I'm not too familiar with it, but from what I have garnered, it's like very popular for a reason, like gameplay wise. So I was just like, man, this shit is in the game. How? That is cray cray. The amount of quality that is in there. Cause it's it's just straight up a movie. Like it's not even it's not even a question. It's just a movie. Inside of the game. Like the amount of uh production value on it is crazy. But yeah, it led me to Diablo, and I was like, oh, that was so cool. And now I was just like, I, I think I just kind of went off, like, the the YouTubes and just did more work. But I was uh, pleasantly surprised. I now understand why people love that thing. <laughs> Popular for mommy milkers. I will say the demon lady was very hot. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It made me act up a bit, but it is a very cool, like, just trailer in general. Because, yeah, this is, like, out of context. This is just, like, the fight scene. Like, there was no, like, story behind it. It was just the fight scene between, like, this reaper-looking guy uh, versus her, the demon lady. So I was like, okay. I, I've seen that lady before. I think I've seen the guy before. I've seen the night guy before in like um I remember in Os, which is like this rhythm game, um, there was a song that had that picture. I, again I didn't know it was from Diablo. So I now I know the origin of that image. It's from Diablo. So I was like, okay, like I know that now. That's like the character in Diablo. That's pretty cool. I'm trying to clean up the topology here because uh, your boy here did a lot of oopsie doopsie daisies and decided to fuck up its like topology real bad. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to fix that by uh doing uh doing this, I guess. This is like connected to here. Again, I probably should have done this with like a. With a union boolean. Instead of doing all this manually. Anyways, sort of related back to the the TikTok pirate song. Hans Zimmer is actually a genius. There are so many songs that are like popping up that like Hans Zimmer was apparently the composer. Like it's kind of crazy. He he snapped. My boy snapped. <laughs> Hans Zimmer indeed snapped. Uh, let's see. This form kind of ex ex states that there's like a thing here. Yeah, 
It is a good ass rendition though. Those those uh those bass singers did well. I was listening to the Batman Begins soundtrack. Like that bad that boy that boy is like He's he's cooking. Like he's made so many of the the most memorable soundtracks at this point. It's crazy. Not gonna lie, can I just like hard model all of this? I think I can just do that, right? I probably can. Like I'm trying to think of a reason as to why this is a bad idea. There's probably a very good reason as to why this is a bad idea, but you know what? I like to take risks. And so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna just hard model this here. It's like a screw there. What is that? Would have loved to know what that is, AI. Uh, you know what? Screw you, AI. I'm just gonna like turn that into this. <laughs> Shadering issues. Like it's uh, it's you know, kind of the the render kind of fucked up there. Optics, optics kind of messed that up. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna add a uh, it's like a strap. like uh yeah the normals are fucked up that's exactly what the ai thought he was like nah bro the, the, it's the normals it's the normals there we go uh thanks andre appreciate it Very good. Uh, so far, it still kind of looks bad, but it is getting to a point where, like, okay, it's starting to show. It's starting to see the form. It's no longer, like, an AI mess. It's just, oh, it's, like, a human mess. <laughs> so, still bad, but, like, it's it's now up to the human to actually make it make sense, you know? Uh, man, this just does not make any logical sense. Like, why would you need a brace here? Who who needs that? Answer me, AI. Oh, whatever. Uh, like, why would you need a headphone looking ass thing for <laughs> for your head? Unless if like. I don't know, like, you're listening to, like, w w what do you need support there for, right? It doesn't even answer that. I don't know. Imagine 3D printing the helmet. That would be pretty sick, though, having a 3D printer. I've seen people do that where they would sculpt shit, and then they would 3D print it for themselves. Like, bro, that looks so cool. You can just make your own action figures. I don't know, this is gonna be such a wild turn. There's this YouTuber um, who is, like, trying to be, uh, what's his name? Oh, fuck. I forgot his name. Yujiro Hanma? Basically, there's this, there's this anime series called Baki. And there's this, like, guy called the Demon, which is apparently, like, the dad of Baki. He cosplays as that, right? He cosplays as the dad. And one of the weird things that I saw was that he just makes videos of him reviewing action figures and i thought that was so cool because he's literally this big buff ass dude just sort of you know analyzing the action figures like making sure that like he gets a proper review and i thought that was so cool so 
sort of made me interested in just action figures in general. I thought it was sick. Okay. There's also like Lego YouTube, which is like a huge thing. Like I didn't know just how big Lego YouTube was until I saw that like one of my favorite creators was apparently like a Lego head. He loves Legos and he now made a channel dedicated to Legos. Keep in mind he was like a like from from his channel, he was like a Photoshop guy. His name is like Benny Productions. He he like does Photoshop stuff. That's his big thing. And he just also happens to like Lego stuff. So he made a whole channel about it. Which makes sense. Like the the Lego sphere is massive. I also think that Benny Productions is like the standard that I want to get to someday. His videos are so well made. I don't know if you've like if you've seen any of his videos, his videos are like top notch. Like it's so well edited and it's like just like fantastic. He's the he's the standard that I want to get to at some point if I ever want to make content for myself. Cuz it looks so professional. That's the thing. It looks really professional. Lego stop motion? Lego stop motion is sick. I I, I remember in in shorts it, it keeps recommending me this uh this YouTuber where he does Lego animations in Blender, but he animates clips from shows or from YouTubers. Like he he just animates them in Lego. Like I thought that was sick. It also didn't dawn on me, like, as much as it probably should have. I didn't know that the Lego movie, like, the the Lego movie, was, like, not in, like, traditional stop motion. Or was it in traditional stop motion? I think it wasn't. It was in 3D, right? A lot of it is in 3D. Or, or there, is there, like, a significant portion of the film that was actually filmed in stop motion? Because, like, those stop-motion stuff is crazy. I remember watching those when I was a kid. Inspired me to become an animator. 3D with stop-motion. That's sick. That's awesome. Okay. Let's remove this, like, draft-looking thing. Uh... Okay. Now this thing is like a like a taper going to the top kind of ordeal. Uh I don't know how the hell I'm going to do that, but we'll see. Okay. Bucketed. Do you see the bucket? I I just I just saw. <laughs> it does look like a bucket. That's a very fancy looking bucket. Dude, that would be such a cool like prop. If they like turned like a war helmet into a bucket, that would be pretty sick. That would be a pretty sick like looking detail thing where they just transformed a helmet into a bucket. That'd be pretty cool. All because AI just has some weird ass cringe design because they wanted like this thing, I guess. 
We got Bucket Helmet. The premier bucket helmet. Hello, graphic. Welcome. Just a model on a helmet here. Uh, wait, does it even have a taper? Oh, it does have a taper. Never mind. It's just not very obvious, I guess. Needs to be pretty bloody obvious. There we go. Okay. Uzbek. Ooh, Uzbekistan. Very cool. I'm from the Philippines. Welcome. Uh, let's, let's do Ah, I see. Wait, 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 wait. I'm doing this all wrong. Okay. So like I'm supposed to model this area and then I'm supposed to do this. Last And then something like this. There we go. What the fuck is happening? Why are you not uh filling this up exactly? Uh I don't speak English very well. Uh no worries. It's all good. I will speak a little more clearly and slower. So Google can translate properly. This looks like dog shit. <laughs> I think Google doesn't translate very bad words, I think. So I think dog shit is one of those things where it's not going to be translated. How many years have you been working in Blender? Uh, four. Four years. What's the language in Uzbekistan? Language. It is... Uh, well... I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was about to translate it to Uzbek. No idea how to pronounce for. Not even a clue. I'm not even going to try. That is completely foreign to me. Can you write in Uzbek? No, no, I cannot write in Uzbek. Uh, let's see. Sure, that works. And then we go like this. 
There you go. And now we can dissolve a few edges to make it nice and smooth. Maybe another one here. And this is where I would connect it back to here. There we go. Do we need another edge? I guess we do need some edges here, so I might as well. First. First. Can we write about Blender on Telegram? I'm afraid I don't use Telegram. There's a lot of stuff on YouTube, though. So if you want resources, there's always YouTube you can look to. Uh, let's do this. Okay, all right. Finally, we have capped off the top half of the helmet. Which almost makes it full. That's pretty sweet. I don't want to lessen the edge loop situation here. Just because it's, uh, it's a little nicer to have proper edge flow. It also makes more sense if stuff is in proper edge flow while you're working on it just so that you know it, it can like logically make sense that's like so far the biggest thing that i've realized why uh hard surface modeling is so topology focused it's like you just cannot like you cannot ignore topology this is one of those things if you don't have good topology or if you cannot work with topology, then hard surface is like not great. If you can work with topology, hard surface might be for you. Because it is just one gigantic puzzle. As to how the fuck you're gonna figure something out. just like connecting verts one after the other okay so currently this is like a huge pain point for me right here I need to fix this edge flow Oh, all right. Yeah, bro, what's up? What up? Uh, what mode are you using to move all these grids? Uh, like the verts? Um, well, edit mode, I guess. I, I don't, I don't really have a specific. Like, I guess the mode. Yeah, I mean it's edit mode. Yeah. Sometimes I use sculpt mode, but uh, I I usually just stick to to edit mode a lot of the times. When it comes to this stuff. What is that serving? Actually. Uh... I'll remove that if I ever need to. Did you add loops? Like, how did you get all the lines? Currently? Yeah, I'm just, like, compressing stuff. Yeah, I'm just, like, 
So for instance, if I want to add like an edge to something, for instance, this edge, I really want to emphasize this edge. I usually just do that. That's what I do. Just like clean this up. I mean, currently I don't want to add a loop yet just because, I mean, I'm working on other stuff, but that's, car that's what I do usually. Uh, let's do this. Sort of make this a little bit better. Uh, can't see the toolbar. Oh, I mean, I mean, yeah, I, I, I usually just go to uh, what's this? Tool? The very top tool. It's like, uh, how do you use it? Shift space, there you go. It's usually just select, maybe some smooths, maybe some shear. Uh, that's usually what I use. Some tools are like situational, but I usually just move verts around. That's all I do. I move the verts into their place. You know what I mean? I push the verts. Uh, maybe just dissolve that. I'm like trying to simplify this as much as I can because currently it's a bit too difficult to figure out where everything is. <laughs> Blender's definitely difficult to learn. It's a lot easier now, but yeah, I can definitely feel you. If you're new, it definitely does feel alien. Good luck with it, though. What do you What do you want to do? Have you Have you figured it out? Do you want to be an animator, modeler? What do you What do you want? People who make content on Blender gets a lot of views. Well, <laughs> this is <laughs> this is kind of the exception. I got a kind of a nobody here, but uh, I appreciate it. Mostly modeling. Okay. Well, uh, game asset stuff. If you're gonna be like for games. Uh, something you need to get, like, really good at is, like, uh, optimizing for games. Nowadays, it's not too big of a deal, but yeah, like, especially with, like, if you want to do, like, realistic stuff, you're probably going to be working with Unreal Engine, so your assets don't need to be that optimized, but, like, you know, it's still good practice to optimize your stuff. Even though Nanite technology means that you can just drop in a a, a a scan. Removing unnecessary edges and stuff. Yeah, 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 exactly. Just optimizing stuff. If, uh, like, because uh, I also make game assets. Well, I used to, just for free, but I, uh, I think that was the biggest change in, like, workflow the fact that you need to worry about poly count was a, a big thing baking like just learning how to bake maps and stuff is a, is a big thing unreal engine 5 i didn't know if blender would allow more 3d modeling features well i mean 3d the, the modeling uh stuff on blender is actually pretty sick like it's pretty well built it probably doesn't have a lot of the very technical stuff that comes with like i don't know other modeling software like uh what what's like other like cad if you're used to cad i don't think it's like a good alternative to it i think in cad there's like very specific things that you can use for like mechanical stuff but i'm assuming that's probably not what you're looking for like the modeling uh, the modeling capability of Blender is pretty good. Like I'd say. That's like the one thing that I think Blender got pretty close. Uh I use AcuCAD. Ac AcuCAD? I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, like uh I think the the stuff with those software is like super specialized. It's like for like mechanical stuff, 3D printing, uh machining, those kinds of things. I don't think uh I don't think Blender has a lot of those features from what I know. 
I probably should also pick that up soon. Like, what's the what's the experience like of learning, like AutoCAD and stuff? Like, I know it's like useful for machine stuff, some three D printing stuff, I think as well. Not too familiar with like its whole ordeal. Easy to get measurements on Blender. Yeah, in Blender it's like weird because I like this shit I didn't even know existed. <laughs> like it's in meters and stuff, like brother. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I I I didn't even know that, that was a thing. Nah, I need that edge. This, like, five-star situation is not going well for me. Yeah, I need this to be, like, a smooth thing. Uh, Also, like, just the visor, it's... Uh, actually, I mean, yeah, it kind of cuts here. Pretty abruptly, so I think that's fine. Like, if it, like, just cuts there. That's alright to me. And then we'll clean that up later. Alright, 2 hours and 30 gets us to here. <laughs> Which is, uh, it's something. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's something. For sure. For sure, for sure. This definitely looks not big enough for what it's supposed to probably do. I don't know what it does, but it it looks important. Probably needs to be bigger if it's important. I'm gonna deviate a little bit from the source material. Because it just doesn't make any sense. Trying to learn assets like a chest. Yeah, yeah, that's a good, that's a good start. Yeah. At least you're being realistic. <laughs> I think, uh, if you're, if you're starting out, low poly stuff is really easy to do. Because, uh, you know, low poly, low fidelity, you can get away with a lot. Yeah, yeah, I mean, when I was picking it up, like, navigating alone was already a pain in the ass. Like, I used to run to this issue a lot where, like, your camera would slow down significantly. It took me so long to realize that apparently that was just, like, I don't know. Like, you just need to press, uh, this key. Like, the numpad dot to do. To, like, undo that or some shit. Because, like, sometimes I would just get that before when I used to learn. Nowadays, I rarely get that as just a, an occurrence. I think it's because I, I don't really, like, notice it anymore. Like, if I get that problem, I'm like, okay, well, I need to do, I need to do that. Ooh, the topology here, it looks like shit, bro. I'm gonna fix it. I need to fix it. You just need to fix it. It's too nasty. Too nasty for me. How uh, is it auto-selected on both sides of the helmet? I have a mirror modifier. So it it automatically has, like, you know, on both sides. I also have this. I mean, you can do that, but, like, usually if you have a mirror modifier, it will do that. I 
There you go. Quads. You gotta love your quads like you love your mom. Very well. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. That was led to nowhere. Uh, uh, let's look back at the reference. What was this again? I wanted, like, a panel that sort of covers this. Uh, if you had a logo and music, I think a lot of people would be watching. Probably. I probably should market this channel a little bit better. I should probably do that. What would my name be? Can you think of a name for my, uh, my little thing here, my little artsy channel. Cause I kinda just call myself James. That's all I that's all I really ca call this thing. Or James makes. I guess I the name can sort of be the same. Maybe like uh like what would be the the logo? That's probably a better idea. That's a better question. What would be the logo for James makes? Because I don't really know what the logo this will be. Hmm. Let me do a solidify. And then there's going to be speakers here, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I, I still have no clue how the hell a, a, an actual, like, speaker is gonna be in there, but it's gonna be in there. Somehow. I also just realized... Fuck. I just realized this bit. It's supposed to connect this bit to this bit. Darn it! Gosh darn it. Ugh. Well, fuck. All right. Do this. Okay, new plan, this is going to go here, and it's going to go there. Uh, You can make a survey, ask a logo artist for advice. feel like there's a lot of ways to get a good logo. It could be a picture of a 3D model you did, probably. I was thinking of something like Savannah. I don't know if you're familiar with Savannah XYZ. Amazing YouTube resource and just artist. Um... She uh she has her own character based off of her like self. I thought that was sick. That was like a pretty cool like way to like brand your channel. That's pretty neat. Seen a lot of people getting views from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It also helps that, you know, she's, like, an actual talented artist. I, uh, I, for one, I'm, like, a bit amateurish. So, like, I still probably need a little bit more time to cook in the oven, you know? I realize how difficult it is what you're doing right now. I mean, it may look difficult, but... 
it's it's just like you know muscle memory a little bit like after a while it's kind of like fine There we go. Yeah, it is it is a lot. Just when like when you look at me like zooming around, it does definitely look intimidating. But after a while, it's like, you know, you'll pro you'll most likely get to this point. I'm not going to lie to you if you if you really are persistent in Blender, like, you can get to this point. And the fact that, like, I picked this up pretty quick, like, I can, like, get to this point in, like, let's say, like, at most, maybe a week's worth of, like, just giving it a good college try. Like, you can start moving around Blender like this, really. Like, navigation alone is, I think, the biggest thing that you need to be good at when it comes to Blender. Just making sure you know where you're at. Okay. Okay, this is definitely going to a point where it's like, I don't know what I'm doing. Um. Okay. Uh. So, in the design, it, like, connects to this somehow. So, like, I need to, like, make this bend in. And then, like, this needs to go here. Like that. A little bit. And so, what I'm gonna do... One, two... Something like that. Buckle my shoe. And then we're gonna have like a cylinder here that will replace this thing. Which actually this can work. I'll just use this. And then try to match it as close to the reference. Cause it looks like How does this form fucking work, man? Uh, I think it's like a cylinder that like got cut out. Right? I think. So it's like a, it's like a, this with a cutout, like right here, I guess. I'm trying to like figure out what this freaking thing is. Because I've never seen a joint like that before. All right, anyways, I'm gonna try to separate this. Maybe I'll try to Boolean this? How you tackle this problem is definitely educational. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not providing any, like, good answers. <laughs> like, if I'm a professional, I'm, like, zooming through how I'm supposed to solve this. But nope, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm kind of, like, trying to brute force my way into it. Maybe like that? If you have a Discord, you would grow think. I used to have a Discord just for my community before. I'm not a big fan of, like, just having a Discord. It It's, like, I think, uh... I think it needs a lot of upkeep just to make sure that, you know, no shenanigans are happening. For 3D? Yeah, I guess. I do have a few Discord servers that I joined just for, like, learning 3D stuff. Yeah, that's about it. Uh... Alright, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna... Yeah, they, 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 it, the internet's terrible, that's why. That's why it's kind of terrible, like, hard to do that. Uh... Ah, I see, I see, that's the problem. Alright, so it doesn't even matter if I, like, bully in it, because it, it'll end up like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna hard model it into place. 
Because from what I'm assuming from this image, again, this is an AI image, so you can't, we can't really judge this off of anything. I'm assuming that the form that it takes is something like this, right? It's like that. And then, like that. You feel me? <laughs> Professional at work right here. So, like, this connects to this, like, to, the, to this thing. We can make, like, a joint here. And then this connects to that. So this is this. This is sort of like grooved into place. Right? You feel me? So that's what I'm going to do. Because like, so far the hardest part is trying to figure out what the geometry of this would be. Like just logically. I'm trying to like puzzle my way, which is why I tell I told earlier like hard surface modeling is a lot like solving a puzzle. Unless of course if you're just trying to make like I don't know, a mech or something. A lot of the times it's expressive. It's like just put a machine there and put something there, but with with stuff like this it's more like trying to make stuff make sense. It's almost like functional modeling. I also love uh, hard surface stuff that like, has curves on it. I think it's like the hardest style to do, but also the most satisfying thing to do. Because not only do you have to have your, you know, all of your edges to be perfect, but you also want like specific curves to be in a very, very specific way. I actually had a plan on modeling a car. My first car. I've never modeled like a full car before. And I wanted to model a car. The only issue that I had was that there's this website called blueprints.com. I don't know if it would be legal to show like a free trial blueprint on stream. I know like other people have done it. Where like they would just show like a free trial image from blueprint.com when they didn't pay for the blueprint but like i feel like i don't know legal wise i don't i just don't want to be in trouble especially the fact that these are like car companies and stuff that you're dealing with so i feel like i got scared to do that and i didn't want to like stream that but that was like my first thing i wanted to make a car like, I'm so scared just to, like, legal-related stuff. I don't want to, like, touch anything legal that I have to, like, deal with, you know? Especially with companies. Fuck that. Alright? Like, they have way too much time on their hands. They might as well, like, send a cease and desist or whatever. Yeah. Like, I, I really don't want to deal with anything legal-wise. So, I usually want to be, like, clear when it comes to legal stuff like that. As much as I can. What is this edge loop doing? Ah, I see, I see. Okay, there we go. No, 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 no. I don't want that edge loop to go there. There you go. I don't know if anybody else is familiar with this niche subgenre of the internet. I have been super into uh, wizards in Arby's. <laughs> it's basically a collection of images of, like, it's a bunch of AI images where... It's literally just wizards causing havoc in like a fast food place. <laughs> and it's like playing uh, Electric Avenue by I forgot what the, the artist is, but that like that has literally been my uh my consumption of the internet for the past like hour. So I can't stop hearing it in my head the uh, Electric Avenue. Then I'll make it higher. Da, 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 da. Rock and roll, electric avenue. 
da 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 make it higher. Dun, 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 dun. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, okay. Uh that sure is something. All right. I can't get like a nice edge here. I think it's something here. I think I fucked this up. Yeah, definitely. Like it's not supposed to be like that bendy. Think it's supposed to? Oh, that's why I'm... <laughs> I was like, oh, I wonder what happened to the topology of here. Yep. Okay. There you go. That sort of makes sense now. Uh, I was like, what's happening? Look like a Scooby Doo case. Okay. Uh, here. Actually, no, 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 no. That's actually not that bad. Like, that's fine. Uh, it's only this part that's, like, slightly annoying. Because this bad boy needs to be, like, flat. What the fuck is happening to my viewport? There you go. Uh... There we go. Okay. I got that part. Now this part. Extra edge loop, maybe? That's probably what's causing it. No? What the hell is this random rogue... Oh! Uh, actually, no, 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 no. I want that to be gone. So yeah, that's... I feel like we're back to the same thing we just did. Actually, no, it just kind of looks cleaner. No, 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 hold on. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. All right, that might work. Okay. Last. Go. There you go. Edge loops are sort of starting to make sense now. Earlier I was like, no clue where the edge loops are going. Now it's sort of starting to make sense. Uh, any series you would recommend to learn watching Blender Fundamental Playlist? Uh, 2.8? Wait, what? Why? Uh, I mean, have you tried the Blender Guru route? I'm assuming you did. Um, if you did the Blender Guru thing already... Uh, for game assets, for just modeling, modeling. What's a good resource for modeling? I actually don't know. Unless if you like, um... I was on the Blender channel. Like, Blender Guru. 
Blender Guru is a pretty good start, but you probably already know that because his face is everywhere. Um, I think I'd recommend personally Infensia. It's Imp and then Hensia with a Z. His stuff is pretty good. He's fo he focuses a lot on like speed. I think that's how I got my speed. I learned a lot from him. I'm like just trying to be really quick. Like he has this series where he models stuff in 10 minutes. And in low poly rather. Like in real low poly. Never heard of him? Blender Guru or uh, Infensia? Probably both, but I uh it, it's it's those uh those channels are pretty good just for learning. Blender Guru? Yeah, Blender Guru is like the donut guy. So like if you look up Blender tutorial or how to get to Blender, learn Blender, he is like the first guy that will pop up. Uh, I've seen one of his videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he focuses a lot on speed. That's why I liked him. Like especially like that was like the key thing that I noticed in my modeling. I was so slow. And I hate being slow, right? So I I usually I, I, I looked his videos up just to see how the fuck he actually models this quickly. I learned a lot just of modeling techniques, modifiers, stuff like that. Even rigging. Because of course he, he has he's a game developer, he rigs his own stuff too. So he taught me a little bit of rigging as well. Like how to rig really quickly. It was uh it was very good, very good resources. There you go, nice edge loops right there. You got nice edge loops, missus. Where'd you get them? Uh let's do this. That's like my pickup line. Is that is that a good pickup line? Probably not. That's <laughs> if someone says yeah, that's probably means it's a bad sign. <laughs> that probably means it's a bad sign. At least you're you're a good wingman, at least. Yeah, bro, he's so good. I got a guy, he does 3D. Why not? <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, uh, Blender Guru, highly recommend his stuff. Um, otherwise, if you don't like Blender Guru, I think uh, Infancy is pretty good. Otherwise, I mean, honestly, I mean, just tell me what you want to learn. I'll so probably tell you tips. Like, you said you wanted to model a chest. What kind of chest? Like a sci-fi or like a classic chest? I can probably model the chest in five minutes. <laughs> I said that with like confidence. I don't know why. Like I can do that. I can probably do a, a, a chest in five minutes. But like I I don't know uh, I don't know what style. Right. In low poly, I can definitely probably do something. Otherwise, probably not. How to making how, making a tree? That shit was insane. <laughs> Yo, that shit bussin'. I don't know. A room with some objects. Oh, so like uh, like uh, the isometric room stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause my job back in the day, I had to like just whip something up really quickly and look at make it look sort of good. So I got pretty good at like just set dressing that's like one thing i'm like good at yeah 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 like scale making sure that everything is in scale is also a very rookie mistake i learned that a little bit later than i probably should have actually i remember i made doors that are like way too small a lot of the times when i was making environments there's a lot of like rookie mistakes
go. But yeah, uh, like for a chest, it really depends. Like a low poly one is like really easy to make. For uh, for a stylized one, it depends from game to game. The isometric ones, they have like very cutesy looking 3D models. I remember that. That was like a big trend. They made shit that looks like marshmallows. That was like a big trend. Uh, have you seen any of the Rust game asset? I know Rust, but I don't know... Like, I'm assuming it's like, uh, various environmental assets. Let me see what it looks like. It's probably like wizard stuff, realistic stuff. Ooh! It reminds me of like Escape from Tarkov stuff. Which is like, I guess it's like realistic stuff. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Uh, triple A, PBR. That stuff. So you want to do this stuff. If you want to do this stuff... Uh, with a cartoonish texture... Okay. I feel you, I feel you. If you want to do this stuff... I highly recommend you to try and pick up texturing... Uh, way quicker. That's probably the... That's probably the biggest thing. I think, I'm not gonna lie to you... A lot of this looks like it's a it's a realistic thing that they stylize. It's like a it's like a second step kind of thing, from what I see. Like I look at the art station, they they have like there there's someone who made like a like a bunch of assets they showcased that they made for it. A lot of polys, no, it's it's game optimized, so it's like it's literally like tries. I can show this probably. Like, uh, close other tabs. There we go. Where is it? Video and where is it? Display. There it is. So you see the the verts for this is like very minimal, but you still get the point across really well done i like the i like the the texture work on it look at that and if you look at the the verts for this i mean yeah 2k 2k tries like really well optimized this is like what you do for like baking so like you bake the uh the albedo you bake the base texture and then you bake the the normal map so it actually looks like it's more vertices than it is like this stuff this stuff definitely uses a lot of normal work if you want to do this stuff i think going through like a very simple pbr uh workflow should get you most of the way there like, if you know how, like, to make PBR assets, you can, like, do... You can make stuff pretty quickly. So. Because, like, I've made a few PBR assets. A lot of it is just down to... Making sure you have, like, good reference and just... uh, Just making sure that you have, like good visual library for things you're making so if you're making a chest maybe look towards like different references for different games that kind of thing i can probably i can probably show you one how i would go about designing a chest i can do something like that Okay. I think it would be a great video. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
this needs to be extruded. I need like a a stub. I think kind of. This is like almost like separate now that I'm looking at it. Like this part. This part is separate from here. Alright. God damn, that's freaking ugly as hell. Look at the amount of fucking polys on there. Looks ugly as fuck. I think this is also the biggest thing when it comes to hard surface. It's like overwhelming amount of garbage that you need to fix a lot of the times. Is there any way that you can fit the toolbar in the video? It would help a lot in the overall experience. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't use the toolbar that often, but if that helps you out, sure, I'll do that. Like, I, I, I don't actually use the toolbar as much as it looks like it does. Like, I, I usually just kind of stick with one to two tools. So I'll just move mine there if that helps you out. Oop. If that helps you out. Like I, I kinda like just select maybe this or that. I appreciate it, man. But yeah, I probably should brand my channel a little bit better. I think it's mainly because I I treat this more like a I'm improving in my own art kind of thing rather than a content thing, but I probably should. Probably should try and make it a little more content stuff. Just because I probably have some knowledge that I can share. What the fuck is this? Uh... That kind of helps. There we go. Uh, I just think the channel will grow better without uh, grow over time without being a content creator. Yeah, I guess. I guess that would be sick, though. That would be pretty cool. Cause I kind of didn't expect this channel to grow from what it was. Cause I I I put a lot of my hand painted stuff here, and. That, Cause I was interested of hand painting at the time, and I was like, okay, I'll uh, I'll post my stuff here, see what happens. People actually stuck around and showed interest, and I was like, whoa, that's pretty cool. Okay, so good news, our edge flows are good. Bad news is our, like, just how it looks is fucked up. Is something like this? Alright. Just how you are vibing and is on the channel is golden. I appreciate it, that man. I usually am pretty awkward just in general, so I'm glad that uh that doesn't show through camera. <laughs> um Especially while I'm doing stuff. You said you're interested in electronics, you said. I don't remember saying that, but I mean yeah, kind of. 
in the electronics do interest me a bit. Yeah, I guess. How are you doing? So you're doing good. There you go. This looks like garbage. Uh, need to connect this and this. Uh, what? Excuse me? That was weird. Why was it not connecting? Uh, what command connected that? Like this? Uh, F. I probably should have the key bindings add-on. I'm gonna look it up. I forgot what the key bindings add-on is. It allows you to, like, have a screencast. There it is. That's the name. I probably have it. Screencast? Nope. I don't have that. Screencast add-on. Blender. So that you guys can see it. I'm starting to learn electronics. Awesome. That's pretty sick. There you go, version... Oh, wow, it's just updated last week. Okay. Alright, uh, let me install that real quick. Uh... There you go. Screencast keys. There you go, so yeah, guys can now see what that is. Uh, that's a pretty, that's a pretty sweet thing to have. Uh, line thickness? A little bit bigger, just so that, you know, visibility-wise, it's a little bit easier to see. Is there a way to, like, change this? Uh, I guess that's the biggest I can make it. Alright, whatever. So you guys can see now what I do. That's so weird to see it in the, in the side. What the hell is happening? Uh, kind of weird to see it uh is there like a history there we go so you guys can see what i do to move around you know so this is how i sort of navigate through blender there we go i know i because i remember that was a an add-on but i never really like understood or like just kind of never really uh bothered to put it on so like you know if you guys are interested in what i do then this is what's happening behind the scenes while i'm just modeling uh that shit looks like garbage what is this What the fuck? What? Okay, that's a little weird. Okay. I want to connect this latch. This is like one of those things where it's like, whoa, this doesn't make sense, but here we are. There we go. And I wanted to connect it some way. Electric Avenue. That literally ruined it. Okay. <laughs> that ruined the topology. Alright, you know what? Fuck that. I'm not gonna do that. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do the visor. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to finish up the this area. How long has it been? It's been three hours? This took me three hours of work? I'm a disgrace. <laughs> it's, uh... That is that is so bad that it took me this long. All right. Okay. 
Maybe I should have sculpted this, you know? This is sort of like the learning experience when it comes to assets like these. It's like, I don't know what the best approach is because I haven't really modeled hard surface stuff. I don't know what to do, you know? Uh, I don't know what the best practices are. I know general tips, but I don't know how it actually is supposed to work. Uh, here's another question. Go right ahead. How do you know the helmet will fit right on the head? That is also a very good question. We will make the head fit to the helmet. <laughs> we will mold the head into the shape. I don't know, actually. I probably should have gotten a reference. You know what? Let's grab a freaking thing. There's probably a helmet model. I probably should have set that to scale. Well, that was the first time Blender crashed in a while. Okay, cool. <laughs> it was like, nope, no, you're not looking up a freaking helmet. Uh, hang on. I'm gonna do this, and then I think we're gonna call it quits here. Uh, oh, but you know what? Just as a quick thing, I'm gonna I'm gonna film it as a video and see if that will work out. I'm gonna try and model a chest in like five minutes. I did say I did say that I can do it in five minutes. I'll do it. All right, five minutes. The five fingers of death. We got this. We got this. I'll make like a low poly chest, and then for five in five minutes. And in the Infencia videos, I remember he describes. That was also the most impressive part, I believe. That was the most impressive part, in in my opinion. The fact that I was able to explain while he's modeling this stuff was insane, right? All right. Uh, let's let's see, let's see. Okay, does it crash on me when I like search up helmet? There you go. Okay, it doesn't crash on me. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Or it just won't open at me anymore. Uh, helmet. Same executable. Okay. All right, helmet, helmet, helmet. Well, we got a football helmet. That's like a Mandalorian helmet. Let's do a motorcycle helmet. Just as a, a scale. So, um... We're a little bit off. <laughs> We're a little bit off on the scale. <laughs> I believe these are like made to be in real life scale. So let's let's take our let's take our model and uh, do a little little uh, little little readjustment here. A little readjustment. Maybe he has a little bit of a bigger head. You'll never know. Alright? You'll never know. Maybe he had a bigger head. I also just realized that is a very ill-fitting helmet. God damn. I should have had reference. I don't know what I was doing. Oh no, my screencast! I just realized too, my screencast is gone. Save preferences. Yeah. I was like, wait, where did the screencast go?
There we go. All right. <laughs> like squishing everything else, though. Uh... Darn it. All right. Well, um, that is uh, something. So this is like three hours of work. Obviously not great, but it it definitely is an okay attempt for the first time. All right, let's model this fucking uh, chest. Here we go. Chest, five minutes. All right. I'm going to try to model a chest in five minutes. And I'm going to see how that goes. All right. I'm also going to see. I'm going to be a little bit ambitious here. I'm going to see if I can rig it in the same amount of time. We'll see. We'll see. All right, here we go. Uh, I need I need a timer though. Timer. Five minutes. Five minute timer. I'm gonna do this real quick. Uh. Okay. All right, it's pretty well fit, I'd say. All right. Oh, uh, oh, right. I forgot that doesn't work. Okay. There we go. Okay, studio mode didn't even matter. It's it's like it's fine. All right. Five minutes on the clock. I'm going to try and model this bad boy. I'm going to model a chest in five minutes. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's see how that goes. I don't know how, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do this. I'm also going to try and commentate just so I can actually explain to you what I'm doing. You got this. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and let's go. All right, uh, chest, a cube. I'm going to set this on cavity on both so I can see the edges more clearly. It's a good way when you're modeling in low poly, you do this. I'm going to go for a very stylized chest where like the panels are like that. And we're going to do an inset so you can actually have some definition on the chest. That is already a bit too far, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and just push it a little bit further. Four minutes and 30 seconds. We'll do a quick little like lock here. We'll do another inset. And then we'll do the keyhole right there. Already looks like a bit of a chest thing. We'll go ahead and separate this area. We'll do that. And then we will... Shit, 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 shit. Oh, I'm going to separate this. And then we'll do a quick 
little extrude actually no we'll do a mirror where is a mirror here mirror 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 on the wall who's got them bars nobody unfortunately uh there you go so now it's in both sides and now we're gonna go ahead and extrude this in this has to be the worst way that i got went about this uh how many minutes there oh god okay this is like not enough time holy i severely underestimated this has been the worst decision i've ever made uh i'm gonna do y as well uh let's do negative y what the fuck is happening y there you go okay y negative there you go so that way I only have to do one side. And how much time do we got? Two minutes. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um I think this is alright. Yeah, yeah, it's alright. Um Let's do a merge. I said emerge at last. Oh my goodness. Why are you flubbing up? My boy is flubbing up. This should be a competitive esport. All my homies love watching the uh, the championships. Blender championships. Uh, let's do a cylinder. Actually, fuck that. We'll do a cylinder here. The worst, probably the worst decision I'll ever make. Uh, let's do a cylinder low poly, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, oh my god, two minutes already? Jeez, why am I so slow? Bro, I need to do more of this more often. Okay. This goes here. Uh, it's selection set origin to 3d cursor let's make some coins actually no before we do that let's quickly just texture this so that it has some texture i'm gonna use cycles go fuck yourself <laughs> i'm gonna use cycles i'm gonna make it look nice in cycles it's not game ready shut the fuck up nobody gives a shit about your opinion uh let's do this Let's do this, and let's do that, that, oh, nope, uh, this, assign to, no! I thought Blender crashed, that would have been a disaster, but no, I'm a genius, and that's why it did not crash. Okay. 30 seconds! I'm so screwed, bro. Okay. Twenty seconds! I'm so screwed. Four, three, two, one. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. That is, first of all, um, I, uh, I didn't, I didn't texture this little guy. How about this little guy? This guy is uh, not textured at all. <laughs> um, this bad boy is not filled. Um, I definitely went about this the wrong way. Look at that. This whole bottom half is not properly materialed. Yeah. Well... Damn, bro. I need to do this more often. Holy. I need to do this more often.
I might even make a short out of this just so this just to see because um this has been really fun like it it definitely tests your like just initial instincts so okay just as a just as a fun side I'm gonna do another five minutes and see what 10 minutes looks like right I want to see what 10 minutes looks like for this. I want to see if I can polish it up and see how, how much it will take. All right. All right. Five minutes. All right. Oh, the timer is no longer visible for some reason. Uh, what? Uh, okay. I guess, I guess the timer is no longer visible. All right. Uh, four minutes and 44 seconds. I'm going to make, uh, you know, what? I'm going to reset it real quick before I do this. All right. Reset, start. Okay. First of all, I'm gonna. I had. I had to be here. I don't know why I was like jumping into rendered. I think it's because I needed lighting. But first of all, do that. Second of all, do this. Next, uh, let's do, let's, I mean, I wanted to do coins earlier, but I didn't have enough time. But this time, I have some time. Using this platform is daunting. Uh, that's why I'm approaching it slowly. Yeah, yeah, I think it's important to actually learn slowly. I'm, like, just more experienced now, so that's why I... I like challenging my stuff like this. I like just sort of pushing myself and seeing how much I can actually go. I want to do something like this. Okay. Kind of wish that automatically also updates in the viewport, but whatever. That's a me thing. Uh, because my idea was is that I'm going to hide the hole. Uh, there has to be a better way to do this, right? Gosh darn it. There had to be a better way to do that. I already spent my precious three minutes. I gotta just make it look random enough. And it will work just fine. Uh... Looks good enough, right? Okay. You know what, how much time? I'm gonna do something a little crazy. What you're about to see is not recommended for the faint of heart. Okay, maybe I'm not even gonna be able to do it. <laughs> I, was, I was like saying a lot of, I was talking a lot of shit and I can't probably even do it. Hang on. Uh, camera.
30 seconds. No. No, I don't have enough time. <laughs> no. Ah, I wanted to animate it. No, I was trying to. I was trying to be gangster. I was trying to be gangster. Alright, I might as well try to finish it up. But basically. Like, the, the the premise would be like, Darn it! Gosh, I mean, it wouldn't have looked good anyway. But whatever. <laughs> I wanted to be gangster, and I wanted to animate it in the same time. But whatever. It's fine. For, for the amount of time that I had. Ten minutes. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I feel like if I restarted it, and I had ten minutes, I probably would have made a better chest. But, this is what we get. Alright? So... There you go. That's what I can make in five and ten minutes. Um, really badly, actually. I'm I'm actually disappointed in myself. I want it to be better. So next time, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to be better. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make myself proud next time. All right. Is there lighting on that? It looks like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just added like a plane. What you know? What I should have done? I should have done this. There is an add-on where you can do uh tri lights. I don't have it enabled for some reason. Yeah, try lighting. So it automatically will give you uh triple lights. Which is super useful for occasions like this, where all you have to do is just do like you know, a little bit of setting here and there. And it will automatically give you like a reasonably good light. So that's what I should have done, right? That's what I should have done. Maybe I've set the background black or something. But yeah. You can't even see the coins, right? Darn it. Alright, whatever. That's gonna be it for today's stream. Uh, I think... I don't know if I'm gonna work on the helmet. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kinda not a big fan of the helmet. The more that I worked on it. Like, it's okay, but I think it's like, eh. Like, I think it could probably... It could probably just use a rework or maybe, like, a complete overhaul. So, I'm probably gonna do something else tomorrow. I'm definitely doing another one of those five-minute challenges. But I think that is going to have to be it. So, I don't know if I'll continue this. Maybe I will, but... We'll we'll see. If I if I feel like it, I'll do it. If not, then we'll we'll probably leave this uh, as it is. But there you go. Thank you, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye bye. Take care.